Folks, we got this back in the spring and uh, time kind of flies. Well, actually I put it somewhere and then I forgot about it, if I'm being honest, but time does fly because I can't believe how long ago I put it there and then forgot about it. Anyway, it's a day like today or all winter long, uh, we're gonna get this installed. So I'm gonna put it right on the front of our John Deere 1025R, right down there on that black rail. Now you may have seen me previously put suitcase weights on that black rail but you can't do that when you have one of these grill guards on there. All right, so great grill guard. You can see that dent. There's a dent right there. Probably saved our radiator screen back here, our, uh, the front there. Could have saved a lot worse going on behind there, but that's the trade-off. You can't put suitcase weights on there, which just happens to work on the 1025R. It doesn't work on any other models. They normally interfere with uh, the loader torque tube, but uh, the geometry works out. So anyway, what we're going to do on this one is install this bracket right on here and uh, i'll show you at the end where this torque tube comes up completely misses this it doesn't interfere at all all right now i do believe if you had a snowblower on here there's a bar that goes across that mouse to these holes for the snowblower or snow snow plow even and you could not use this you'd have to take this off but for those of you not running one of those attachments i think this is the ticket a nice add-on from ju fabworks Gonna bolt on right there, has the chain hooks and the two inch receiver. A handy little way to uh, enhance some versatility. You get this from jufabworks.com, you save 5% with code GWT. Okay, should be pretty straightforward here, that's all it is. Okay, this hardware's all included. Oh, not that stuff, not that stuff, get that out of there. Just this stuff is included, so uh, yeah. Let's see if I can figure it out. Get a couple of these put in place to hold it up there. Now, JU has uh, a lot of other accessories as well, primarily feature featuring bucket brackets. Okay. We've shown those on the channel. Hmm. Let me see, let me put this other one in here to kind of support it a bit. For John Deere's, for Kubota's, same concepts though too. Get uh, chain hooks on there, receivers, D-rings. Good ways to enhance the versatility of your tools that you already have. And in particular, on those John Deere standard duty buckets, a good way to stiffen up the top rail. Made in the USA stuff. Actually, only about an hour away from where we're at, which is pretty cool. We've had Jeff over here. Just a small business owner trying to make some good products and make a living, you know. Pretty sure that's what they call the American dream. Or at least they used to. But if this weather continues the way it is, we're gonna be spending more time outside this winter. If only had, well, we had snow on Halloween and disappeared. Then we had about a month go by and snow after Thanksgiving, and that all melted off. We're calling for three inches on Sunday, I think it is. I'm now holding my breath. We have 50s the three days before that, too. All right. So, JU is part of the discount club. All right. So, we don't sell these products ourselves, we do advertising for companies like JU Fabworks, 511 Designs, Muds Customs, like. Uh, like these tie down points and steps that are down there, the grab handles, the mirror brackets, a lot of other um, companies as well. There's probably 15 or 20 companies in our discount club. And so basically it's just too many products to carry for us. So it works great where you can just buy directly from the manufacturers. You can save more money that way because we don't have to pay shipping to get stuff shipped in here, you know, mark it up with our overhead and everything else on there. So you get it cheaper, you save more money because you can use a discount code. 
You can talk right to the manufacturer to get your questions answered. I think it's a really good way to do it. All right. That was a toughie, real tough one. Okay, there you go, good look at that. He's got a real good match on that John Deere green too. This stuff looks good. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Well, let me fire this thing up and show you how it does not interfere, okay? So great little accessory to have on there without interference. How'd that do, Chris? Not even, close. Not even close. All sorts of room, great. Now, I don't know if he's gonna have options for larger tractors or other models or not. You may check with him. Uh, he's always coming out with something new. So this is, you know, just based on the time of shooting this video, which again, uh, this product he had available in the spring and now we're shooting it in late fall, early winter. Well, that's it for today, folks. So go to JU Fab Works, get 5% off this product all sorts of other products from his um, company as well. Small business, made in the USA. You save money too. A lot of good reasons there. All right, let's just show them for the sake of it, hooking up to these Versa forks. This is a prototype, very similar to what we'll have, uh, what actually is available now for John Deere Quick Attach. These forks go on the front end loader and the three point hitch, front, rear, and on top of that, two inch receiver, Chain hooks, we tried these chain hooks mounted or you know welded on in the reverse direction, don't like it. Uh, the production model has the chain hooks mounted in the uh, 180 degree orientation of that. Uh, built in weight rail on top, quick hitch compatible, category one, three point compatible. You can see some parking stands there that are kind of tucked in the sides and the corners. When you want to hook up to your three point, the three point doesn't lower down to the ground. So you can just deploy those parking stands, just one pin, that's all it is. Uh, that way the three point on the forks is up high enough to hook up to it. Pretty sweet product. All right, let's hook this thing up. We'll have the skid steer quick attach version coming out soon. Check the website for that. Had to get a little bit more creative on how to make the three point work. You can see how, like on the John Deere, these are your three point links here, here, here. No interference with the quick attach brackets. Well, the skid steer plate is totally different. And so we had to figure out how to basically orient the, uh, uh, the three point mounts, the lower links there to move out of the way so that you can still hook up to the loader and, and everything else. So anyway, I think we've got that figured out though. Got a, a new prototype that just showed up on a truck yesterday that I'll be playing around with this week. On that note, if you're looking for something for your tractor, we sell tractor attachments. We ship them all over the country every day of the week. If you're not sure what to get, just send us an email. We'd love to help you out, get you fixed up with the right size tool to fit your tractor the first time. Go to goodworkstractors.com. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.